Yeah. SNP yeah. Deputy Leader Murray Black. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last month, the Deputy Prime Minister dismissed warnings from these benches that mortgage rates were nearly back to where they were after the disastrous mini budget. This week, mortgage rates have surpassed those levels. How high do they need to go until he and his government take it seriously? Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Lady knows, people around the world know, that the driver of higher mortgage rates is higher inflation. And higher inflation is caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the post-COVID supply chains. But what we have to do is make sure we halve inflation. It's only by getting inflation under control that we will be able to get mortgage rates down, and that requires discipline. Discipline on spending, discipline on public sector pay, and discipline on energy supply, all of which is lacking from that party. Murray Black. Bank of England predict that mortgage payments will rise by at least £500 for a million households. The Prime Minister says that people need to hold their nerve. The Chancellor said just last night that mortgage holders should just shop around. Speaking of his own party, the member for South West Devon said if the circus doesn't stop by Christmas, it's over. Does the Deputy Prime Minister understand that people can't afford to wait until Christmas and that they need help right now? Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, the fundamental thing we have to do is to halve inflation. That is an approach that the IMF quote strongly endorses because higher inflation drives higher mortgage rates. But that's not all we are doing. With the mortgage charter signed up by 90% of mortgage providers, we are giving people help to extend their terms, to go interest uh, only, and to reduce their monthly payments. Now, that action is supported by Martin Lewis, a real money-saving expert, unlike the big spenders on those benches. Yeah. Stevenson. 